The moment came and Moses arrived at his people and he heard the noises of celebration. Ask God for everything. Ask him for money, home, ask him for kingdom, and ask him for homeland. Cry on its feet. Moses found the slaves prostrating themselves to the calf and he got very angry. He could not believe what he was seeing. The slaves saw Moses' faces and how angry he was. He screamed at them. He shouted at them angrily and he said, How miserable you left me. He said it. And then he threw the boards from his hand and rushed to his brother Harun. Moses held his brother Harun from the hair of his head and beard pulling him towards him. And he was shaking due to the anger. And he said to Harun, Harun, what prevented you from following my command when you saw them being misled and you violated my commands? Harun said weakly to Moses, O oh, son of my mother, please let go of my beard and my head. Moses asked him why he did not destroy this idol to which they prostrated. By this you have become a party to their misdeeds, but Harun responded eagerly. I was afraid that you would say that. You have divided the Israelites, and you did not wait for my words. And he said to him with weakness, O oh, son of my mother, the people weakened me and almost killed me. So do not compare me with my enemies and do not place me with the unjust people. وَلَمَّا رَجَعَ مُوسَى إِلَى قَوْمِهِ غَبَّانَ أَسِفًا قَالَ بِئْسَ مَا خَلَفْتُمُونِي مِنْ بَعْدِي أَعْجِلْتُمْ أَمْرَ رَبِّكُمْ وَأَلْقَ الْأَلْوَاحَ وَأَخَذَ بِرَأْسِ أَخِيهِ يَجُرُّهُ إِلَيْهِ قال ابن أم إن القوم استضعفوني وكادوا يقتلونني فلا تشمت بي الأعداء ولا تجعلني مع القوم الظالمين قال رب اغفر لي ولأخي وأدخلنا في رحمتك وأنت أرحم الراحمين إن الذين اتخذوا العجل سينالهم غضب من ربهم وذلة في الحياة الدنيا وكذلك نجز المفترين. Moses realized that he exhibited injustice to Harun and realized that Harun had taken the best possible behavior in these circumstances, so he left his brother's head. He turned to his people and addressed them angrily. How could you be misled and how could you prostrate before this idol after Allah has rescued you? from the worship of all kind of false deities. Did you not see with your eyes what happened to Pharaoh and to everyone who prostrated to idols? Did you not realize with your minds and hearts that this is not your God? Why didn't you hear what Harun said? Could you not wait a bit until I came back? The whole guilt falls on the Samaritan Moses. He misled them and took out the car for them after the gold was melted in the furnaces. He is the cause of all of this. And Moses got angrier after he heard the woman talk. He came forward to the Samaritan while trying to control his anger and said, what do you have to say, Samartian? Forgive me, Moses. I have seen what they could not see. I caught the trail of the angel, and I stamped it on gold. Thus I obeyed myself. Satan has misled me, O oh, Moses, after God guided me. O oh, Moses, forgive me. Forgive me, Moses. Please, please pray for me that God forgives me after what happened. 
But Moses never did. He asked Allah to punish him. He told him to go away and not approach him. And his punishment was that no one would make contact with him. And no one would touch him. And that he would wait for his punishment. He was answered by his Lord and the Samadhyan remained a lonely outcast. Untouched and even untouched by a slave. This punishment for touching things he shouldn't touch. Moses ordered the Israelites to set fire to it and throw the calf into it. So that it could become ash and so that everyone see that it is merely an idol that did no harm or benefit. And Moses was not satisfied with melting the calf in front of the servant's eyes, but he carried it after it became ashes and went to throw it in the sea. And the worshipped calf turned into ashes. Ashes fly in front of the eyes of the misled slaves. Then Moses' voice rose up and he said to the slaves, Who were with him? Your God is Allah. It is him except who there is no God, who encompasses all things with knowledge. <laughs> قال بصرت بما لم يبصروا به فقبضت قبضة من أثر الرسول فنبذتها وكذلك سولت لي نفسي قال فاذهب فإن لك في الحياة أن تقول لا مساس وإن لك موعدا لن Moses turned to his people while he was still angry and judged the whole case and decided that they had wronged themselves by taking the calf as a god. He said that repentance from this crime is that everyone who prostrated before the calf should kill himself. So Moses commanded the slaves that every man should kill his brother and every person, his companion, until 3,000 men were killed on that day and the slaves begged Moses. Have mercy on us, Moses, with this punishment that we have gone wrong and followed the wrong God. Let your Lord forgive us. Have your mercy on us, Moses. وَإِذْ قَالَ مُوسَى لِقَوْمِهِ يَا قَوْمِ إِنَّكُمْ ظَلَمْتُمْ أَنفُسَكُمْ بِاتِّخَاذِكُمُ الْعِجَلَ فَتُوبُوا إِلَى بَارِئِكُمْ فَاقْتُلُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ ذَلِكُمْ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ عِنْدَ بَارِئِكُمْ فَتَابَ عَلَيْكُمْ إِنَّهُ هُوَ التَّوَّابُ الرَّحِيمُ after the slaves tried to ask for forgiveness, God forgave them. He is the most merciful and after Allah had forgiven the slaves, Moses returned to his earlier work and he started collecting the boards on the floor to make sure that his message was received. He read what was in it to his people and at first ordered them to take its ruling with strength and determination and everyone listened to the commandment of Moses. People began to argue with him over the truth that was revealed in the boards. Distribute the panels among us, Moses. And if the commandments contained in it were easy to follow, we shall obey them and accept them. We want a copy for each of us so we can read what is on the boards carefully and narratively. Yes, yes, yes. yes. But Moses tells them to accept what is in it. But they repeatedly revert until Allah ordered his angels to lift the mountain up. 
and lift it over their heads like a cloud. And when the slaves saw the mountain, they almost died of terror and fear, lest the mountain should fall on them. Moses, have mercy on us. The mountain will fall on our head. Why are you doing this to us, Moses? Moses said, if you do not believe of what I am telling you in the boards, the mountain will fall on your heads. We believe, Moses. We believe what is in this boards. Moses then instructed them to prostrate to Allah, so they put their foreheads on the ground as they looked up to the mountain with fear and terror, and so Moses' people proved that they were not bowing to the commands of Allah, unless they were faced with a sensational miracle that would terrorize their hearts and turn their feet towards prostration.